In this video, you're going to learn how to create this kind of sales funnel landing page. So this is not a typical landing page. This is particularly a sales funnel landing page for any particular product. So let's suppose my product right now is a course. So I have just created, let's suppose an AI course and I want to create a sales funnel landing page. That landing page only, the only purpose of this landing page is to convert traffic into paid users. So that's my only focus. So that's why I just wanted to create a simple sales funnel landing page with zero technical knowledge all i want is a simple functional landing page with all of these different components and then this kind of call to action button so when i click on this call to action button it opens this kind of checkout page there is no extra information in here there are no complexities in here that is the only purpose of a funnel so as soon as you click on a call to action button it directly loads a checkout page and as soon as you click on any of these plans simply just click on that it asks you for your billing information and then you simply just click on continue and then it process that payment so now you have just converted an average visitor into a paid user with just few clicks we are going to build this sales funnel landing page in loyable.dev as i told you earlier this video is only meant for non-technical marketeers product managers and startup founders so if you have a product that you're selling online or maybe a course and you are just looking for a quickest and easiest possible way to build a very professional and high quality landing page and you don't want to pay any money this video is for you as we know we are going to use lovable lovable is an ai code editor and yeah this video is not sponsored by lovable but the reason why i'm using lovable first of all it is absolutely free to use you can build any sort of web application using lovable it does have a default superbase integration as well so what is superbase superbase is a backend platform that we use to build backend for our web applications so let's suppose if you want to like build an authentication system or maybe a user management system all of that you can build inside lovable with simple prompting without any backend development knowledge another thing that you'll be concerned to do is hosting this landing page somewhere so lovable.dev offers you free hosting so let's suppose this landing page i have just hosted on lovable and you can see this is hosting with a subdomain of lovable but you can definitely connect your own domain name as well so let's suppose if you have purchased a new domain name from one to three reg or from godaddy you can easily connect any domain name with your this landing page all of that i'm going to guide you later in this video but first let's just start with creating a high quality design by the way if you just want to do anything you just want to like use this design as a template you can easily do that i will provide this url in description of this video you can just use this design and then just simply click on this edit with lovable and then you can simply just use this design as it is you can make some changes ask lovable.dev to like make some changes in it and then you can use this design as a template as it is without you creating any design from scratch but creating this kind of funnel design is so easy in lovable.dev that i will highly highly recommend you to like create a new one from scratch all right now to start creating a design what you need you need a design reference you can give your design instruction inside your prompt but it is good if you have a reference design and a simple image maybe from your competitor website or maybe just a simple figma design you can use any design as a picture as a photo as a reference and you can provide that in lovable.dev and then you can ask it to create a landing page based on that simple photo but if you don't have any reference design you can simply just use a simple prompt as well but in this video i'm going to use a reference design a reference image this is a figma design that i just found on figma community so if you're a marketeer this might look very familiar to you so this is actually a design of click funnels so if you remember click funnels click funnels click funnels is a simple funnel creation tool so this is the design that someone actually just copied that design into this figma design so i'm just going to use this as a reference the reason why i'm using this funnel design is because this is one of the best funnel design it is very simple and straightforward it does not confuse your users at all it has very basic background and then it has like very straightforward and to the point call to actions there is no extra unnecessary bs about anything this design only talks about your product only so that's why i'm just using this design as a reference and this is just a simple figma design but i have converted this simple figma design into photo i will leave a link to this figma design in my description as well and then i'll leave a link to this photo as well into in my description so right now you can see this is a png photo that i just cre uh, created from the that figma design you can find this as well in description but let's suppose if you just want to use any other website as a reference we can do that as well so imagine this is a website that you want to use as a reference so this is again the official website of click funnels they have recently
definitely change the design but the surprising thing here is the pricing so this cost around $81 per month as a basic plan and then $248 per month as a pro plan but because now with the AI we can build any sort of funnels using AI so you should not be paying this much money to any of these kind of tools but again i mean this comes with convenience it has a complete infrastructure click funnels has like a complete infrastructure to build funnels but still we can like use simple ai tools to like build this kind of high quality funnels anyways this is not our topic so let's suppose this is the design that you want to use all you need to do you need to simply just take a complete screenshot of this entire landing page how you can do that there is this chrome plugin this is called go full page you can download this plugin from chrome web store so you simply just go to chrome web store and then install this plugin and once it is here then simply just open your website that you want to like take screenshot of after that simply just click on this camera button like this icon of this go full page chrome plugin simply just click on that and then after that what it will do it will take a screenshot of this entire landing page and then it will preview this landing page like this simple screenshot you can simply just download this in png and you can save this on your computer after that you can simply just go to loveable.dev and in here you can actually provide that screenshot there is another option inside loveable.dev which you can actually import a figma design so, so let's suppose on figma community if you found any design just like i found this design this is like absolutely free to use so i just found this design from figma community so let's suppose if you have this kind of design you can just use this design as well as a reference so inside loveable there are two options you can either attach the photo or the screenshot of that website or you can simply just import any figma design so again whatever seems convenient to you just to use that option Option, but you can simply just like use this as well so this importing in for from figma actually includes three simple steps one is downloading this builder.io figma plugin again this is a free plugin that you can use inside figma you can just use this plugin you can and then once you open this plugin it will show you this open in option and then from here it will just show you all of your currently opened or all of your figma design so once you open this figma design inside your figma account so it will then show that figma design inside here in here you can see as as you can see this is the funnels design it is showing here after that simply just open that in here and then after that it will then show you an option to then use that inside loveable so once you just open your design inside that plugin then just go to this uh, then just go to this navigation menu in here that is showing on this footer then simply just click on this plugin section and in here you can simply just choose this builder.io plugin so once you choose that builder.io plugin it will then show you an option to export this design as a code so you can what you can simply do you can simply just choose all of these layers once you have chosen all of these layers next step it will actually show you to export this design in form of code then you can actually simply just use that code inside builder.io but again this is a complex process i highly highly recommend you using a simple process so there is another simple way of using any figma design into loveable or any other ai code editor that is converting this figma design into a simple png to do that you can simply just click on this design simply then simply just right click and from here you can simply just click on this copy as png and from here you can simply then just paste that inside loveable.dev simply just click on control v and it will just paste that design inside loveable.dev so as i as soon as i clicked on this control v so now you can see it has converted that figma design into a simple png and now i can see my figma design is now converted into png and it is attached inside loveable.dev and now i can give it a prompt i'll just use this basic simple prompt that i used to create this funnel design so i'll just copy this prompt from here you can find this prompt again in description or you can just copy it from here and then i can simply just paste this prompt in here so this prompt says i'm creating a sales funnel landing page for my product my product is a course about ai development I have attached the design of the landing page. I want you to create a very high quality landing page similar to the reference design. You should use the same kind of fonts and same kind of textiles and colors. And after that, you can simply just press on enter and now loveable.dev will actually start creating this project as it is right now you can see it is analyzing this entire design and after that it has now started writing code for us you won't have to do anything loveable will do everything for you it will create this entire project for us it will write all of the code files for us it will set up all of the project directories for us you won't have to do anything in here all you have to do is just sit and watch and just wait for it to create a preview okay so just after a few minutes it has created this design this is how it is looking like so let's just compare the design that i created earlier so this is the design that i created earlier we gave the same prompt and we provided the same design and then it created this for us in the first attempt 
and in this second attempt it has created this again this is very high quality for me at least i can see that this looks very professional there is some need of improvement in here on the footer section and then we need to provide some of the missing images we need to provide these partner images in here but this is high quality for any product to launch this meets that criteria of creating a funnel design which is simple to the point and the only purpose on funnel design is to convert user whenever user clicks on any of these buttons it just like opens a checkout page and from that checkout page user can then buy that product so just like this in this design that i created earlier as soon as you click on this enroll and then it opens this checkout design now you can actually ask it to create a checkout page a checkout page which is very similar to this kind of funnel design so let's suppose in this current version of click funnels as soon as you click on this try for free there is this page that it shows so first of all it collects to your name and email once you click on next then it actually opens the next page so let's just ask it to create this kind of similar kind of checkout page okay so i have just got these two screenshots from click funnels so first page is this uh, lead collection page so this page is actually just for the purpose of lead collection so before showing user the payment page you are just showing this page so in case if user do not make payment so at least we got user's name and his email address so we can actually just write a follow-up email so that is the only purpose of this page and then as soon as user submits their details after that they will just be loaded to this page so let's just provide both of these pages to lovable and ask it to create this kind of page as soon as user clicks on that enroll no page so after that uh, let's just like the user should see this kind of like landing pages so in here inside lovable simply just attach both of those page i have just attached both of the screenshots i'm just going to provide a prompt please see the attached screenshot this is the screenshot of our checkout page i want to create this kind of checkout page so when user clicks on get started or start free trial button it should load a checkout page that checkout page first should ask user for their name and email address after user provides that after that it should load that payment page simply just press on enter and now it should be able to create that checkout page all right so within just a couple of minutes it has created this checkout page so let me just click on this start free trial button or maybe get started button so let me just click on that and it shows this page first so now i can provide a username and an email address click on continue and then it shows this page there is some design problem in this page so we can just like enhance the design later on but yeah so this is how it is working so it has like two step checkout and this is exactly what you want now next step could be to create a backend for this project i'm not going to cover that part entirely because i have covered that several times in my other videos but in this video i'm just going to show you so let's suppose if you want to create a backend where you want to store all of this information or maybe the other information uh, where you are collecting user's name and email so to do that there is this option this very simple option you can simply just click on the super base button on top right simply just click on this button in here and then after that it will load you to this super base integration it will ask you to create a new project inside super base so to do that you can simply just go to super base official website simply just go to super base just go to there and then you can simply just log in using your account and then from there simply just create a project simply just create a project inside superbase once you do that it will just show you that project in here and then you can just simply choose that project and that's the only thing that you're required to do everything else rest will be managed by uh, lovable.dev itself you're not required to do any extra configurations it will manage it will add any of the project like let's suppose database urls or anything that is it needs it will communicate with superbase automatically you're not required to do anything from here so yeah that's why actually it is very easy and it is very easy for non-technical people to build this kind of like basic landing pages the next step now is to publish this landing page so let's suppose if you have made sure that everything is ready now i'm good to like publish if you have if you want to like add any video in here you can just provide link to that video in here and then you can add a nice image in here a very nice looking like image thumbnail so after that you can just like provide any missing elements in here after that simply just click on this publish button from here simply just click on this publish button from here you can now add your own custom domains as well let me just show you that in a minute but let me just show you how easy it is to publish it simply just click on this publish button and after that it will just take a second literally within just a few seconds it will just publish this project right in front of you so right now you can see this project has been published and this is the url this is the subdomain of lovable.dev so it has just created this simple url for us 
as soon as you open this url it will just open this website for us now this funnel landing page is published now we can simply just like share it with anyone but because it has this dot lovable dot app kind of weird kind of subdomain so you do not need that you need to provide your own domain name so to do that you can simply just go back to lovable click on this manage domain name button click on this add new add your own domain name and from here you can simply just click on this continue button add your domain name Sim simply just click on continue it will ask you to update your name servers so to do that you need to simply just log in to your domain name provider let's suppose i have these domains on hostinger simply just choose any of these domains from here Sim simply just then click on this manage button and from here you can simply just go to your name servers tab from here you can simply just click on this change name servers and whatever name servers it provide you can simply just click on this change name servers and then provide new name servers in here sometimes it can actually ask you to add dns records instead of name servers so you can simply just add your dns records in here make sure that the record that you are adding if there is any duplicate record in here simply just delete any existing duplicate records and then just provide the records from here there is one last thing that i want to mention here is let's suppose if you don't want to host this project inside lovable you want to host it on your own server so for that what you need you need to download this source code from here you then need to maybe like host it on github you need to like just upload this source code inside github and then from there you can just like deploy this project in your own hosting plan so to do that you can simply just click on this uh, github account then simply just you can simply just click connect your github account from here after that you can see it has now added this code inside my github repository simply just open this uh, github repository url that it has just created then you can see this is the github repository that it has just created for this particular project and from here you can maybe deploy this project on versal or maybe on hostinger or any other hosting providers i have created dedicated videos that how you can host this project on let's suppose something like versal so versal is a serverless uh, hosting provider so you can just use versal absolutely for free there's a paid plan as well but you can use versal absolutely for free as well you can simply just log in into versal i will just log in using my github account once you're logged in now you need to just import that github repository that we have just created in here simply just click on this add new button add a project from here just choose this github repository click on import and then it will import this project inside versal once it will import that project after that it will just try to deploy that project automatically and this is how this deployment will look like it might have few errors we can just like go back Back to liable.dev and then ask it to like fix those errors but again it's a back and forth thing sometimes whenever we face any errors we just like try to fix it ourselves sometimes there is eslint error but it will just manage all of the deployment itself you are not required to like be a devops engineer or to deploy this project on server this is all uh, versal is simply just like a layer on top of aws uh, hosting let's suppose aws is amazon hosting so to like host your project on aws you need some sort of like technical knowledge and like backend infrastructure and that kind of stuff Stuff, but on versal you can just like easily deploy your projects with one simple click and again in here you can just provide your own custom domain you can simply just go to your settings tab from here you can simply just go to your domain tab and then from here you can simply just add your own new domain simply just provide a name in here and then after that you can simply just click on this add domain button and then it will add that domain inside your project one more thing that you can do let's suppose if you want to like now carry on this development inside any other ai code editor something like cursor something like windsurf or something like vs code you can simply just download this source source code locally on your computer open this source code inside cursor or windsurf again that is a separate topic but you can simply just like uh, download there and open that and then you can make further changing inside code let's suppose if you're using something like cursor you can simply just go to cursor.ai you can download this cursor ai code editor absolutely for free on your computer then you can open that source code inside cursor so let's suppose i have this source code open inside cursor this is the source code of a mobile application but this is how you can just like uh, access your source code inside cursor from here you can just like provide a prompt change anything in you in there and then you can simply just make changes then you can push commit those changes inside this uh, github repository anytime you publish new changes inside this github repository it will automatically synchronize with your versal deployment again i have created separate videos on that topic you can watch that from my channel so this is how simple and easy it is now to create sales funnels you are not required to pay hundreds of dollars every month to click funnels you can create any sort of sales funnels and unlimited number of sales funnels using this kind of ai code editors i try to keep this video as simple as possible so any one of you who is non technical person or who is from a marketing background so so it should be easy for you to like follow this simple video if you have any further questions just leave a comment in comment section and if you have any ideas that you want to share with me to create a new video on you can simply just send me an email i see you next video bye, -bye.